Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see from the title of today's video, it's going to be a pack with me. Um, I'm heading to Norfolk tomorrow with my boyfriend. We're driving down. So we're just going to have some time away and I need to pack and get ready for that. So I thought I'd take you along with me. So yeah, let's get into the video. Okay, so what I'm thinking is I'm going to write a list of everything that I need, clothes and like everything else, cosmetics and whatnot, write a list of all of them. Um, and then I'm going to lay everything out on my bed. I'm honestly just so excited to go away. Like packing feels so weird. Like I feel like I shouldn't be going away because of everything going on. But I'm so excited. I feel like this is a much needed break. And hopefully I'll get some nice pictures while I'm there. So make sure you check out my Instagram to see any of the pictures that I take while I'm there. It is always linked down below. Okay, so I feel like I should actually start packing instead of just talking about it. But, but yeah, I'm really excited. I've done my list and I'm ready to pack. So what I have done is I've picked out all of the clothes that I want to take with me and lay them out on my bed. I'll show you how I've done that in a second. I've also picked out some of my shoes that I want to wear. Um, a couple of them I have put in the wash because they were really, really dirty. So they're just on the line drying now. So I'll just show you what I've done with my clothes. Okay guys, so I'm about to show you my clothes that I've laid out on my bed, ready to go in the suitcase. It's probably going to look like a lot considering I'm only going from a Saturday to Wednesday. Um, but I just don't know what the weather's going to be like. It keeps saying it's going to be nice and then I've just looked at it now and it's like changed and it might be raining or whatever. So I'm just taking a mixture of different clothes. So that is why I've got this many clothes. Okay, so as you can see, these are all my clothes laying out here. So I've done it sort of like by type. So these are all the trousers, pajamas socks pants bras bikinis gym stuff dresses tops and hoodies and sweatshirts here so i'll just run through and show you what i've got okay so here i've just got some pajamas these ones are from pretty little thing and because it might be warm i've just chucked in a spare pair of pajama shorts and i've just got all my pants socks and bras that i need and just in case it's nice and warm i've chucked in two bikinis in case i want to do some sunbathing in the garden and then i've just chucked in some gym clothes i've chucked two t-shirts in a pair of leggings a sports bra and oh actually i need to put my gym shorts in there let me do that now okay so yeah i've just chucked in my nike shorts there just in case it's warm when i work out then i've just got some dresses in case it's warm i've just got this green smock dress a blue smock dress and then this black one in between is a nice bodycon dress which i thought would be nice for the evening then jumper wise i didn't really want to bring lots of jumpers because hopefully fingers crossed the weather will be nice so i've just put this gray misguided hoodie in and this miss pap new york gray crew neck okay so moving on to tops i seem to have a lot of tops but i just don't know what the weather's going to be like so i've got this linen shirt to wear over a vest top like a little cami i thought that'd be cute i've got white zara t-shirt with the ruching down the side um, I've also put that in in black and then I've got two uh, Topshop t-shirts which are just like got lacy detailing on. They're slightly cropped. I've got a cropped and um, like cream cardigan sort of thing. Then I've got a teal vest, a white vest and a nude vest. My bleached pink tie-dye top. That's the black Zara t-shirt. This blue tie-dye top that I did the other day. Um, a Topshop cropped little tee and my grey tie-dye t-shirt from Fresh Fabrics. So that seems like a lot. Like there is quite a few, especially hidden under there. Okay, so moving on to trousers. So I've got my jeans, my normal regular mom jeans. I've got a blue and a black pair of denim shorts. Um, I've got these linen sort of jogger like trousers which are just really comfy and then underneath here i've got white joggers cream corduroy joggers gray joggers and then just a pair of black basic leggings so yeah this is all the clothes that i am going to be packing like i said it does look like a lot but it's just in case because i just don't know what the weather's going to be like so yeah now i just need to get out a suitcase that can fit all of this in hopefully okay so i'm actually just going to wait until my brother comes home so he can help me get the suitcase out the loft so it's about half past one now so i'm just gonna go and have some lunch because i am starving so i'll come back to you when i start back with the packing again okay guys so i've actually just quickly changed my outfit it's all of a sudden got really warm here so 
just had a quick switch of outfit okay so i just need to get back on with the packing now so i actually um bought some suitcases down from the loft my brother came home and he helped me i'm not sure which one is gonna fit all my stuff in because i feel like i've got a lot like ideally i want to use a small one but is that gonna happen i don't know so these are just the suitcases i've bought that one's actually just pushed in i need to pop that back out again but ideally i want to use the pink one because i don't particularly need to take loads of stuff but looking at the way things are going without even cosmetics or anything it's more than likely going to be this one isn't it okay so i've just got these little black urban outfitters bags here and i'm just gonna go ahead and put my pants and socks in them and um, i always take two of these bags with me one for like my clean clothes and one for the dirty just because it's easier just to organize that way but yeah my mom taught me to do that and it has been so helpful i'm just gonna try and fit that stuff all in my suitcase now and um, just so i can see what sort of room i've got for like my cosmetics and stuff like that in the suitcase Okay, so I know for a fact, now I'm looking at the suitcases, now they're open, I'm definitely not going to be able to fit all my stuff in the pink one. So it's definitely going to have to be the black one. Okay guys, so I've just packed all of that in my suitcase and I have far too many clothes because I can only fit clothes in there. Um, so I don't know what to do about that. We'll figure out that in a moment. Yeah, as you can probably see, it is literally all crammed in there. Put some shoes in there. I just don't know how I'm going to get like, my hair dryer and stuff in here. Unless I do a separate bag for that. Okay, so I'm just thinking of using this Victoria Secret bag. It's like an overnight bag to put the rest of my stuff in because obviously that is just very full. Okay, so again, I've made a list of things that I want to bring like cosmetic wise, like stuff like my camera chargers, laptops, stuff like that. Um, so I'm just going to gather them all together now. I'm going to put them all in like piles on my floor so I can organise them into different little bags. Okay guys, so I've just got all of my stuff that's not clothes laid out on the floor. Just put them into piles of like different categories. So I've just got all my hair stuff here skincare stuff there shower stuff body sort of stuff got toothbrushes medicines makeup jewelry perfume phone case electronic stuff notepad and pens and some coloring in stuff and then i just have some resistance bands to take with me so i can still do my exercise okay so the last thing i'm taking is just pads because i'm going to be on my period the whole time that we're there so i've just got these delivered they came today i've just got my subscription in there so these pads if you can tell already are from the brand totem and i get them delivered in every month okay so i just wanted to talk about those pads quickly and um, this is not sponsored at all but i just absolutely love those pads um i didn't realize that like sanitary products they don't have to tell you like what's in them so they can have all sorts of chemicals in and whatnot and we don't really know like no one ever really stops to think about it we all just kind of use them okay so i consciously made it the change to go to these totem pads just because these are organic cotton and they don't have any horrible chemicals in you just know everything that's inside of these which i think is great but yeah i'd totally recommend these and it's so convenient i actually had a few hassles actually getting these um due to covid but usually these are so good they come just before your period like you set up when you want them to curve so they come every month at the same time put just in time for your period which is perfect and um, so you just don't have to worry about it and you can cancel and change as much as you want so it's honestly ideal because i always used to leave it till last minute and forget to buy my pads and i'd be stressing about it which wasn't a good idea so this is just perfect okay so that is all of my stuff that i'm taking so now i'm just going to try and put them into little bags like this so like my makeup's in a bag brushes are in a bag stuff like that i'm just gonna try and put them into different little pouches so they're easier to organize and put away okay so i've just organized them into little pouches as much as i can and i'm just going to try and fit as much as i can in the suitcase i've chucked my hair dryer and t hair tools and resistance bands in there um, and then i'm just going to have to squeeze the rest in that bag there okay guys so i've got all my stuff packed in here all my clothes and stuff in this big suitcase and then 
all the rest of my stuff in this big Victoria's Secret bag. I've just got this spare Glossier pouch on top to put all my chargers and stuff in before we go tomorrow. And then just my handbag with all my essentials in. Okay, guys, so that is all my packing complete. Um, like I said, I've just got to throw in my chargers tomorrow in that Glossier pouch that's on the top. But then I'm all ready to go. Okay, so I'm going to end the video off here. I really hope you enjoyed watching, guys. I know I really love watching packing videos. I am obsessed with it. So I'm hoping that you guys are the same. So if you enjoyed watching this, guys, please do give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you again in my next video. Bye guys.